projects that I'm doing this weekend at my house is to install this vanity and a vanity top. The vanity top that I have to go on this is got a basically like a rectangular seat and as you can see this is set up for a round sink so i'm going to take you through the steps of me cutting this top on this vanity so that it will accept the new top that i've got to make this room look a little better we're renovating this bathroom we got this nice wallpaper that we put up we had to get a different vanity and we're doing a white cultured marble top and we're doing a color faucet. It's three individual pieces for that that'll go into that vanity top. That's the project I'm working on for this weekend. Since you can't really go anywhere, can't go out to eat, can't be out with people, social distancing and everything, why not go ahead and take care of little home projects while you're at it? This is actually porcelain. It's made out of the same material that a toilet is made out of. Play some music on that. I'm going to put this faucet in place. Go ahead and get it everything set up in the holes. That way when I set this on top of that vanity, I don't have to hook anything up under and around all of the back side of that sink. First thing I want to do is go ahead and hook up the spout. So let's we'll slip it through the hole here. And according to the directions, you're just using this little plate that came with it. This is where you need to be a contortionist because you'll need to hold the bottom plate while you hold the faucet so that you can put this nut on it. This is what's gonna support that. You don't have to worry about getting it completely lined up yet. You can just kind of put some pressure on it just to hold it in place. You want to center it to where it's it's even left and right, center with the drain hole and everything, but just don't tighten that up just yet. Snug it up hand tight. All right, on your faucet, you want to make sure that it's turning in towards the inside. If it's turning like here towards the wall, that's not good. So make sure that you're turning in. So we'll go ahead and put that one on. That one has washer and your securing nut so slip that over that again you'll need to be a contortionist so that you can hold that this is screw down so this screws onto the threads and again get it hand tight You want to make sure that those screws are where you're going to be able to get to them. That screw and that screw so that you can tighten them up. So go ahead and put them across from each other long ways like this. Just kind of snug it up a little bit. If you want to put a Phillips head screwdriver on it just to snug it up. Just for the time being. I'm going to go over and do the other side. And this is porcelain guys so it's going to chip. You're going to have to be careful with it. Alright, multi-finger skills here. Go ahead and screw that in place. Try not to get it cross-threaded. Like 
it up to where everything is lined up straight across from each other. And you want to go ahead and give it a little snug with your screwdriver for the time being. You don't have to really tighten it up right now. Be gentle with it. Like I said, it is porcelain. So now is the time you want to go ahead and look at everything and make sure everything is level and straight across from each other. Everything is lined up like it's supposed to be across the top. Make sure your spout is in line with your drain. So you want to go to the front of it. Make sure you're good and centered. I think we're good. So I'm going to flip this over and go ahead and hook in the drain. Then what I'll do is go ahead and hook my water lines up. There's a T here that goes in the middle. All right, this is one of those pop-ups. All you do is touch the drain top. That way you don't have any levers coming out of your faucet that you got to pull up and down. That's pretty neat. The pop-up assembly. I'm going to slip this in from the inside or from the top side through this hole. I can go ahead and put this nut, this rubber washer on. That's going to seal it to the bottom of the sink. This is the nut to secure everything in. Then I'll have my pop-up assembly in. That way when I set this on top of that vanity, it should come right down on top of where the P-trap is so that I can hook everything into this. All right, so now you want to put your cone washer down and you want the cone facing towards the sink. Pull it out around that lip and then you can push it down in place. All right, that's gonna hold it there. We'll go ahead and get the nut and tighten down on that now what we do is just go ahead and tighten this down on that cone washer. That's going to give us a good seal under the sink. Last thing we want to do is cause leaks. Got my trusty 12 inch plumber's pliers here. I don't suggest over tightening, but just snug it up to the point where you're pretty sure that that seal is made. Everything here is set up. I just want to go ahead and tighten up my faucets. Make sure all of those fittings are good and tight. Go ahead and plumb in my supply lines. And then all I have to do is go ahead and cut that countertop on the vanity to accept this rectangular sink. All right, now what I'll do is go ahead and screw these water lines into the hot and cold water valves. And be patient with this, guys. It's, it's, it's a machine thread. It's, it's gonna take a little bit to screw them down in there. And then once you get them in place, use your little six inch crescent wrench to tighten them up. It's nothing like having a, a tool that's small enough to get into these spaces. Nothing like getting one of these to get into tight spaces, a little six inch crescent wrench. Go ahead and screw in the other side. And then get your little crescent wrench, line it up and tighten those up. No need to go crazy on the tightening on these, just snug them up. There's an O-ring inside of there that will seal that. You just want to make sure that you're not going to cause any leaks when you're done with this job. All right, we got that good and snug. All right, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and tighten those screws on these valves. Make sure that they're lined up straight. It takes a Phillips head screw. There's four of these screws, two on each valve. And the screws go down and they meet this plate. And now you want to go ahead, when you have access to this, and tighten these screws up so that that valve's not going to move on you. Again, remember the guys, this surface is porcelain. You may be working with cultured marble, granite countertops. You do not want to over tighten to the point where you're stressing that, that stone surface, stone product or porcelain product. So just be mindful of that when you're tightening these screws that you don't want to get crazy with it. You don't want it to move, but you don't want it to be tightened into day after tomorrow either. So we'll go ahead and tighten this last one up here. 
All right, so now those brackets are tight. Our center support, our center spout is good and tight. We've got the pop-up assembly in place. Now we're ready to go. Well, almost. Let's get the vanity itself ready for this install. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and put some adhesive down on the vanity so that we can set this top in place. It'll be glued down. It's not gonna move on us. And then all we'll have to do is go ahead and hook up all the water lines. So what we have is a T-type fitting that this water line is going to snap into. And we want to keep this job as neat as possible. So I'm going to try to show you this. Now what I'm going to do is take this and slip it into this fitting. Now these little white pieces here clip into that hole you see here. And there's another one on the other side. So when I set this in place, I want to make sure that these white pieces are lined up with those little holes because they're going to clip into place just like that and push it in place. Centering back and forth, and I think we got it. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to check this next video out. And if you would, hit that little round icon up there with my cute little face in it. That way you can subscribe to the channel and you'll be sure not to miss a thing. And as always, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.